What's going on? It's Alexander here, back with some more Dragon Age Inquisition. And I already went and switched out armors and whatnot to get everybody have better high, like higher equipment. I haven't done anything with those yet. But we're going to keep all the purples for now. I don't know if any of those are actually useful. I think I have yet yeah, had valuables. There we go. That's basically emptied out all their stuff. And until I come back, just to make sure. I don't remember putting all those upgrades in there. I have more for it. <laughs> Completely NPR stuff. All right, we're going to head to uh, the war table, and then I guess after we assign people places, head out yet again to where I have no clue. I have not decided that yet. Everyone's fought bravely and with great skill. The town of them saved and the warden themselves took a few casualties. They wait for their commands. Commander Colin. I have something for you, Commander. The soldiers the Herald rescued from the Falomire arrived an hour ago. Thank the Maker. We need good news. Inquisitor. Agnes forwarded what she learned about Samson's strange armor. Her glee over her discovery is disconcerting, but her we should speak at least convenience Inquisitor Colin. Okay. Right, gathering her research. That's uh DLC. Resources, all my resources. You know, that's money thing. That my run the under has made good on your judgment of armed exile of the venter. I'm going to stick to claim to a large section of land along the Imperial Highway at the end edge of this land plan. Hospitable and vacant, and they claim they are not interested in banishing or actively threatening anyone beyond, of course. They now live within Imperium borders. Their contacts. Significant concern among the magisters. I am asking. Mm. We'll wait on that. I don't know what, which one I want to do on that. Is this... Let us begin. <clears throat> okay. Besides DLC, I do believe we have only, like, one more place to go, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Let's go speak to Colin first. See if he has any idea where he wants us to go. Now, which would be the quickest way? I'm mistaken, he is over here. So going up that that one over there. Is 
This would be our best bet. There he is. No red lyrium, no allies, and soon Samson will have no armor, I hope. You hope? Dagnus started work on her red lyrium samples, but she needs more details on the armor. We found orders in the mine. They mentioned Maddox, a name I did not expect to hear. Samson's letter said something about taking over as the vessel. Perhaps it's a rank among the Red Templars. It could be a title from ancient to winter. Or it's some other role Corypheus has planned for Samson, and Maddox is part of it. Another voice from your past? In a way, this is complicated. Maddox was a mage in Kirkwall's circle. Samson smuggled letters between him and his sweetheart. Eventually, Samson was caught. That's why he was cast out of the order. Maddox was made tranquil and became a skilled craftsman of magical items. Samson must have rescued him. I can't believe they made a man tranquil over a few love letters. The official charge was corrupting the moral integrity of a Templar. Knight Commander Meredith wielded the brand for far lesser offenses, believe me. Why would Maddox need saving? When the mages rebelled in Kirkwall, the worst battles took place at the gallows in the circle itself. And I thought Maddox had died in the fighting, or was eking out a living on the streets. A hard fate for a tranquil in Kirkwall. Samson must have found him, taken him in. Perhaps there's something left of the man Samson used to be. Or he's shrewd enough to know an extraordinary resource. It seems Maddox built Samson's armor for him, and maintains it still. Tranquil and Kirkwall needed rare and expensive supplies for their enchantments. Supplies we can trace. I can have our men kick down some doors, Inquisitor. Samson's armor might lead us right to his stronghold. Alrighty. Eventually we'll do that. We can't have everyone out and about right now. But yeah, I think the only place we have left that we haven't went to yeah, I'll go do that later. Waterfall, Shannon, Ruin. Hissing Waste. I'm just reading to the glyphs revealed, uh... What area? Um, oh, right there. Now let's go check that place out. Then we'll go to the Hissing Waste after that. The last main area to go to. Someone's been here. Not for some time. The camp is abandoned. <clears throat> Let's see. What do we got in here? That's unexpected. Secrets of this temple have remained unspoken for too long. They wish to be known. It's as if the altar's waking up.
More corpses. Bathroom is gone. Then our highest one brings us to the grave. The grave seems. What should we do? Where should we go? Well, she gets a burn in our hearts. Down in one. Make sure that stays with us. Peace. Always lovely to find those. Another one of the explorers took his chest and crawled into a corner to die. Another way around, it looks like. An explorer. What killed him, I wonder? What do we got here? I when he deceives us, the honey words that drip from his tongue. We know the despair they masked. We decide. We disciples of Gareth and the truth always ever. Alrighty. Well, oh, I don't want to do that. Oops. Open it up. Glyph, a ruin, the highest one promises safety. We claimed all the Dorothy Mounts granted us will be safe, but it is our belief. Bloody seas. There's no evil that keeps us in the world. Oh. Hmm.
All the way back around. Not there. Probably become unsealed once we have all the pieces. This place is bigger than you'd think. No way through this gate. Wonder what it's made of. I don't want to do that. Whoops. Come for us in the night, those who would still still the worst more lips. We close the walls, the walls, now we pray for a dawn that will never arrive. So it's seeming like they were tricked and they've been stuck here. Well, I guess it's time for the dawn to come for them. They can have rest. Thing then that we the one right here. One room. I believe I sense one of the artifacts of my people. Excellent. The walls are functioning again. These, his mind which can't, oh thanks, speak his hands which cannot touch, his ears which cannot hear, his eyes which cannot see and thus in our silence. Okay. There we go. We'll not have it, we'll not have it. The secrets of madness in our ears, but they are ours. The highest one cannot take them from us. Keeper, only he, and if he does not take the secrets, they are ours forever. On it, see. On our highest one is bound. We're in our pretty hmm. Alright, I'm gonna end this here. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.